Welcome back. This is Dashboard 101, how to make a party. So parties are what most people would probably call the bread and butter of our businesses. That is like your um, incentive to get other people to participate. That is how you expand your business. It's very important that you are hosting parties throughout your um, throughout your month. So. Um, a party is basically kind of the same concept as a referral link. What you do is you open the party. So you click on orders and then you'll see new, open orders, history. I want you to click on create party. And that is what we will do. So what the first thing you'll do is you will name your party. So I highly suggest that you keep a party open for yourself throughout the month because you want to earn rewards too. Um, your rewards you can use to not only get products for yourself for personal reasons but you know that's the products that you get with your rewards that, that will help you save money and um, you can film your review videos you can go live on your you can go live on your stories using your products you can take cute photos to help yourself advertise them you can make samples it's really endless what you can do with your own products so what this is another way of you know having a discount this is one um <laughs> give maria's party bust down thought tiana um you know this is a good way for you to um expand your business you find a friend and you say hey like would you like to host a party you can earn some free and half off goodies your friend says yes and then your friend invites all their friends now their friends know about your business so it is very important that you are constantly hosting as many parties as you can a month because you are growing your business you're attracting new customers um, so let's name this we're gonna name this Daisy's oops we will name this Daisy's tutorial party extra whys and exclamations <clears throat> okay so you press continue now it will ask you host info if the consultant which is you is the host you're gonna check this and all of your information is gonna pop up um, your address your phone number your name and um, so you have the option here to pick your address if that you want your rewards to be shipped to or you can pick a temporary address like say you're visiting you know your grandma in another state or you know and you're gonna be there for like a month or two I would click on temporary one-time address and then type in her address um, you also have the option for a UPS access point now what that is is um, no it's not gonna let me pick it oh I guess it will oh well nope a UPS access point is um, ver various businesses, they work with UPS and they allow people to have packages delivered there. Um, so if you happen to use one, like say you don't want your address on the internet or you live in a sketchy area and your neighbor keeps stealing your packages, um, or if like you know the person just, um, they are out of town and they're not going to be home for a while. I suggest that they use a UPS access point and it will del they can pick wherever they want it to go like for example Michaels happens to be a UPS access point I can pick that I take my ID in and I tell them and they will go in the back and get my package for me but it's very important that the name on the box matches the name on the ID of the person that's going to pick it up or else they will not give that package to you so I'm gonna click consultant address save and continue now you will see Daisy's tutorial party hosted by Anessa Forche it'll always tell you on the website who was hosting that party so this is the layout of a party um, we'll match the numbers up so the party message is gonna go here like if this is the website the party message will go here and they have like pre-written ones you can use theirs but I do like to personalize it because I like people to know that it is me, it's my business, it's my website. It makes them feel a little bit more comfortable when they ask, like, oh, can I trust this website, you know? Is this really her business? Like, it, um, I think it gives it more of a personal touch. I think my first one's, like, in the title where it says, glad you're here, it was like, hey, girl. Like, that's how I put my title. But you can always do something like, welcome to Daisy's party. Um, 
and then on the bottom you can put like they have take a look at my website for products you'll love a few of my favorites are highlighted below but I always like to make sure that I add something in there that has to do with the host so um, if this was a housewarming party I would say like thank you for um, you know coming for entering so and so's housewarming party um, every purchase made here earns them free goodies um, you know for their home and then I also like to add in, be sure to check the clearance and specials tabs. I mean the clearance and um, bundle and save because a lot of people don't know about them. So any little details or you can say something like, um, you know, this warmer is half off. Go check it out. You know, you can always mention something like that. Now they have the video or the image. Since he does have the default image and this is kind of just like things that they're pushing what's relevant right now you can use it the default or you can put a custom image or link sometimes the host wants a picture of them it will show up right here next to the little um, summary that we just wrote so sometimes I'll put a picture of the host so people know that they're in the right place other times people like they might want a picture of their house or they just might want a picture of their favorite item um, <clears throat> or um, for example if like the Star Wars stuff happens to be out and you want to make sure that they know you can always change it to a picture of like the Star Wars you know or like the Cinderella warmer you can always change it to something like that so that way they know oh my gosh like where is that you know they know that it's there um, so you can put a custom image or a link here you don't have to I'm going to click on use default or you can um, use an embedded video. I'm going to show you one that I did that I thought was really funny. <laughs> so the party that I'm hosting now is called It's Gonna Be May. <laughs> and then when you go to that party, let me um, copy the link for that so I can take you to the page. <clears throat> when you enter my party, I have my little glad you're here. Be sure to check out our bundle in save and clearance section located in our specials tabs for the best deals. All of our items will be delivered to your door, so no contact needed. List below are a few of my favorites. Um, I wrote that because a lot of people probably are worried about if it's no contact or not. But I have this. <laughs> I put a video here instead. It's literally one full minute of this. Like, tell me this is an epic. It's probably annoying. I don't know who's going to watch it, but I thought it was funny. It's very dramatic. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, you can put a video. You can put a picture. It's going to look like this. This is how people will know. Um, you can. They can always click join the party. And if they join the party, it's going to ask them to create an account. Um... I think it's it is best for somebody to have an account because their like address and, and um, stuff is already saved so it's it's a lot easier for them to order but once they log in it will have the initials of all the people that have joined the party so I just think that's kind of cool um, you'll have your love list here so if we go underneath this video or image it'll say oh, excuse me sorry it is five in the morning oops sorry default um so then you'll go to number three and it'll say featured products you can use the default ones these are kind of things that are new and popping right now or you can pick your own so sometimes I will ask the host what are your favorite things what are things that you think your family would like so what you can do is look up the product like say um, the, the person is like I really want I really like the bundles of like cleaner you can always um, type in bundle and all the different types of bundles will pop up so I'll do the three counter cleaners or say you want to push bundles and you you want people to know that they're there you can do that and you can type something like um, this is the best um, bundle um, that Sensi has in my opinion I love to clean um, and uh, I love my sense <laughs> so I get the best of both worlds you don't have to be all like you know characterish like that but oh wait with this bundle 
exclamation. <laughs> um, you don't have to do anything like that. You can literally just put, because it smells like lemons and um, it's a really good counter cleaner, you can um, post, you can make it personal, like why do you really love it? Or you can just put something informational there. You know, like, or the Cinderella warmer. We want to attract people to that. We can do something like, um, this warmer is so gorgeous. It has LED lights and it changes colors. You know, you can do something like that. Um, you know, I always try to pick, like, something convenient like these um, cleaner bundles I try to pick a body a product because people don't know we have it and then I try to pick something for pets or if we have a new warmer you know I don't always just go for the wax because people know we have wax I use this as my chance to um, show them new products but let's go back to use defaults and on the website it looks like this on the bottom my love list it shows the product and then it also shows you like you know obviously what you wrote and maybe like somebody scrolls down and they're like oh like what is this this looks cool let me just add it to my cart you know Th they can do something like that now uh, so the next thing here is your end date parties typically last about seven days like one full week a lot of people like to get a calendar at the end of the month and they like to front load and plan their calendars for the next month. So they'll say like, if I have a party, a new party once a week, um, every week for this month, you know, I should earn like this much. You know, they, they like to plan it that way. But you are allowed to, ho to host multiple parties at a time. Um, you can extend this date. I think the furthest you can go is 90 days. But you can select the date and the time that you want it to end. Or you can just leave it to wherever Sensi is. But some people will be like, you know, I want my party to end. Um, so, okay. So I would say be strategic about it. Like some people, they want it to end like you know at the end of the month or they they wanted to end on a on a Saturday or a Monday but I would be strategic like plan your parties um, make sure that there is at least a payday of some sort in between your parties like if you like today is the fourth and the 18th is the last day for this party that's strategic because most people get paid on the 15th so you want to make sure you leave before and after time for paydays because some people like if the party ends before they get paid then you lose out on sales so um now you're done you have successfully created um a party on your work page um and then you will copy your link once you're done and you will literally paste it to the person i like to paste it to my host with a little message because some people don't know what to say so i'll just say like hey guys I'm hosting my first Scentsy party um, I'm trying to earn free goodies or like I'm trying to earn this warmer any purchase you can make helps me get closer to my goal and I tell them text that to everybody post it on your wall put it in your story send it in your DMs don't prejudge anybody send it to everybody and just see what comes back so now we are going um, oops so now that our party is created we're gonna go back to open orders because this is where you will check on your party. So I like to stay very active like with my host. I like to talk to them every day and I like to send them things to post on their timeline. Like I, um, if I take a video of myself or a boomerang of myself um, using a counter cleaner with information, I will send it to them and tell them to post that on their story or you can tag them in it and have them reshare it or repost it with their link um, I like to talk to them every day so after they get a sale I will usually come here to edit orders um, edit orders is like how you look into the party to see where you're at and usually the total will change so let me I'm gonna add some things to this cart just so that way you can see what it looks like when you have um, when you have money in there so I'm gonna put the Cinderella warmer because it is the most expensive I'm gonna add two of them three okay three because two hundred dollars spent not including shipping and tax is a qualified party so once your party is qualified that is when you start to earn rewards um, in the corner they had a little chart telling you how much is what but I will be sure to post that too so you guys know exactly like what is what 
Um, so this is what a qualified party looks like. You will see it, um, let me go back actually. So a qualified party will be purple, but an unqualified party will be gray. Um, here's the little chart that tells you um, how much they earn in rewards. So you have, um, you know, I'm kind of tired. I can't even tell you what these acronyms are right now. I know that's host credit and then, um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I will, um, I will write that down somewhere and put it out for you guys. But we will go to um, edit orders. And usually when a party is qualified, you can see like how much they have, um, what their current subtotal is, how many host credits. Oh, there we go. Half price, host credit, and all that. So we will click on edit orders. And um, your party summary will have your total of your party. You will see, um, oh, we didn't get to shipping yet, but usually on the bottom, there will be a bottom tab, and it will have the higher number. That bottom tab number is for um, how much your party made with shipping and tax, but we do not get commission for that, and they do not get rewards for shipping and tax. So this number in the top corner is what's accurate. Um, so in the party summary tab, you'll see their half price items. Um, we earned one because the party hit 200 and then you'll see their host credit and this is how much money they've earned to spend on Sensi. it will be starting out um, 10 percent of what the party makes so the party made 255 dollars so their host credit is 25 dollars and 50 cents that is theirs to spend on Sensi. keep in mind you cannot use your host credit or your half price for disney or clearance which is so sad but you can't do it but you can use it on other things so you will see here it says assign perpetual party reward the perpetual party reward is essentially another half off so technically they have two but you do not have to give them that perpetual party reward that they give you that because sometimes people will tell their their future host if you host a party for me I will in your party qualifies you will get a gift from me so that's kind of what this is about it's a half price for you so you can gift your host sometimes I gift um, and like if I have the money to like sometimes I'll gift them or if I feel like they really went above and beyond I will get them a gift for half price like you can do something small like a set at a scent circle to their order because it's going to be shipped in with their stuff or you can do something sweet like um i know our well she was our director emily's our director now kayla would tell people if you host a party with me and your party qualifies you get to pick a mini warmer of your choice like gifted by me so the mini warmers it was kind of genius because the mini warmers are twenty dollars so um let's type in mini if you use the half price uh, okay, so they're all $20. If you use the half price, it's only $10. So you're giving them a $10 gift, and they think you're giving them a $20 gift. Um, you know, it's a nice little way to kind of get it, because if you're spending this $10 on them, and they, they just basically earned you 255 PRV, you know, it's worth it. Like, the $10 spent is worth all the money that they have made you by giving your link out to their friends and family. Um, it, you don't have to do that though. That's completely optional. You can always do something smaller like a scent circle. Scent circles are, wait, can I not add that? Oh no. Oops. I just typed in scent. Let's do circle. So, um, you can always do like a bundle of scent circles. So for three of them, you can add it. It's $8. It'll be $4. Or you can just do the one. It, they're $3 anyway, but if you just want to add an extra one, you'll pay $1.50. To add that to their cart as a gift from you um, I think it's just something sweet to add and it makes them want to host for you again um, so now to this part this is the important part I'm gonna show you how to close out a party so <clears throat> you see how much credit they have and you'll get on the phone with them or talk to them I usually get on the phone with them and I'll tell them like okay this is how much your party made you have a half off um, what do you want to do with it so sometimes people will like to add things to their order like I know I only have $31 but I really really wanted that Cinderella warmer 
So they will have to add it to the retail because anything Disney, anything um, licensed or clearance, you have to add it through the retail. And this means that they pay full price for it. So anything you add here, they will pay full price for that. This host reward fee, I think Emily explained this to me. If they do not use their rewards, you get charged a fee or they get charged a fee. That's what I think that means, but that's kind of dumb. Like, I don't know who would not use their rewards because if they don't use them, I'm going to use them. And that's just what it's going to be. So I'm really kind of confused about that. But say they're just like, you know what, I really want the whiff box. I want to add a whiff box to my because obviously they are already going to be ordering. Um, you know, they're, so once your party hits 200, it is active. But once it hits 500, you get free shipping. So if they're like, you know what, I want to take advantage of my free shipping. I want to take advantage of the fact that I'm already placing an order. So let's just add some extra things to my party. Um like the whiff box. So this is something you cannot get with host credit, Disney license clearance. You can add it to the retail section and when you add it to the retail section because they paid full price you will get your PRV for it and that will increase the awards of the party. The rewards I'm sorry I don't know why I said awards <laughs> I keep getting them mixed up okay so that increases it so now they have more instead of $25 they now have $28.50 because their you know party value went up so anything you want to add you add it to retail but when they want to use their host credit then they will come here and you have this little countdown and you can type like okay this is $28 I'm gonna add a bundle of wax for 30 um, you can add whatever you want for the most part here, but let's find a $30 bundle so I can show you that there will be a remainder left because the rewards will take the money off of the price, but they will have to pay what is left. It's not completely free. Where's the bundle of six? Did I pass it? I think I must have. I'm kind of tired. Um, all right, we'll just do this. The three counter cleaners for $29. So they have $28.50. That's obviously not enough to cover that. Um, we're just going to pick the same. So this, once you pick a bundle, it will this will pop up, and you're going to see all fragrance families, or you can quickly search something by looking at citrus. You can read these to them. Bye, Brianna girl. Um, <laughs> say they want everything blue grotto. You can just type it in and you get to pick three of them and you add that bundle. So now um, the remaining total is 50 cents. That goes right at the bottom to their total and this is what they'll have to pay. So you'll see the subtotal here. You'll see the PRV. Um, this is basically how much PRV I'm getting because of all the things that I have in retail that are full priced. Um, and then you'll see the host credit coverage and then so there's 50 cents left so that's what they'll have to pay not including tax and shipping then you will have the half price um, left which is your half off sometimes they don't want to use it they don't have to I don't think you don't get charged the five if they don't use this I think that's just for your host credits but um, half offs I really like so when it comes to PRV I heard like you really don't get that much for a half off but you know, it really excites your customer to get it for half off. But if it is you ordering something for yourself, I wouldn't go hardcore getting something like overly big for the half price unless you are just more concerned about the price being lowered. So for example, like our most expensive things are our essential oil diffusers. They are like up to 150 bucks. You have to actually use two half offs to get it half off. So if, if it tells you, sorry, you don't have enough, that's that's why. But, you know, say I want to get a warmer. Like me, I got the Crystal Ice Warmer, which I love. I'm going to type in Crystal. Um, for When I first started, I'm like, that warmer's 50 bucks. Like, I was like, dang. But then, you know what? Like, I had been with Scentsy for a while. I started getting my Scentsy money. And I was like, I'm going to use my half off. So now... Um, it's only $25, which was awesome. Like, I was so happy I snatched it up right away. So once all of that's gone and they have 
you know, they've used up all of their host credit, their half price, and they don't want to buy anything else anymore, you will go to checkout. Um, you do have an option here for direct ship, ship options, and I think that is for like when somebody, like say they want to use some of their rewards or something for, um, I think they want to use some of the rewards for like to get a gift to go somewhere else. You can you can do that here, but you will have to pay like another shipping and another um, tax for that. But it, I think that's just for splitting up orders, if I am not mistaken. Um, but then you will press checkout when they're done, <clears throat> and then you will be at your um, your checkout screen. It'll tell you orders. This is important. Orders may take up to 10 business days to ship from our distribution center. So that means like it might take them up to 10 business days, like not the weekends, business days to like package your items and find everything, get everything together. So if you see your item is on posted for a really long time, that could be normal, you know, but once it ships, you get two to five business days shipping. That is what's standard. Um, or you can pick your access point, but the shipping is usually on point. It's always like this um, distribution part that takes a while sometimes. But you have all of your information here with your total, and then um, you know you will press. I'm not going to go further than this because I'm not paying for that. So you'll press continue, and then you'll take their options. So if you were hosting a party for somebody else, the way that you would do it is you. Um, you fill out this order, it's like you're the one doing the order. When you get over to the pay section, wait, maybe I will just click on that. When you get to this um, page, you have all of your payment options. So, what I usually do um, when I'm hosting a party and I'm closing it, like I know Emily will ask people for their card information and she'll type all of it in and then she will press submit, but um, not everybody is that trusting. So what I will do is I will tell them what their, what their um, total is with tax and shipping. It'll be right here. So I will have them cash at me that amount, and then I will just use my card to um, pay for the sale. So that, or you can do it with your PayPal, pay portal. So your pay portal is, I'll do that in another video, explaining to you the pay portal. But you have a pay portal. You can also pay with that, with the money that you earn from Sensi. I've never used a gift certificate. Um, I believe that they can be bought in the Sensi consultant store. Um, but this is where you would put the numbers in and how much is left on it. And then you have your product credit. Like I said before, if you happen to um, land these... Um, sensational start levels and you earn product credit you can you can spend that on your order which I think is awesome you can um, pay your tax and your shipping all with that when I got mine I hit level 2 and I got $125 worth of product credit I was baiting people like I'll pay the shipping for your party if you host me a party so I would just cover the shipping the tax and the shipping you know it wasn't a big deal I would just tell them the total before then and I would pay for that and I would do that for myself too um, you can also split payments here like if they want to put like half on PayPal half on the card or whatever and then after that you press submit and you're done and then your party will fade away once you check out and it's over um, let's go back if like if you host a party for somebody and it doesn't qualify and they just they want to give up they want to shut it down you simply press delete right here in this corner and it will say are you sure and you say yes girl delete this um, you know if you're sure but if you're not whoops no keep this order please so it's really up to you um, you can delete them and keep them going up to, I think, 90 days, but that's just kind of extra unless it's for yourself. But I like to use um, a party for myself, like the It's Gonna Be Made party. Anything made from this, I will use those rewards for products for my videos and stuff like that. But um, I think that hosting parties is just the best way to get your business out there and try to host as many of them as you can 
because it is really going to improve your business. Um, and I think another good tool for you that I noticed a lot of girls do, especially Kayla, like she'll host a party for herself and she will open it on the 1st and then she will close it on the 15th every single time like clockwork on schedule and before the 15th she'll she'll tell everybody that doesn't want to pay for shipping that lives in her local area she'll say you know I have a party going on I'm gonna close it on this day if you want something let me know I will give you the total and I will pay for shipping so what she would do is um, she would go to I guess let's do it here I'm like, is this a real party? Or did I make this for the... Yep, I made this when I tried to film the other tutorial. So say, um, like she would add it here in this retail section. So say you have all your host credit and you're ready to close this party. And then your neighbor tells you like, oh my gosh, like I want to get the Cinderella warmer. I'm adding that in here. So you'll type it in, you'll add it. And I want to get like a bar of... Um, no, I want to get the Mix It collection. You type in, oh no, it's out of stock, but I'm glad mine is on the way. Um, you know, I want to get some Luna. You know, and you can do this for multiple people. You tally up this big list that is increasing your PRV. Um, you're getting money for this. You're getting paid for this. You have all of this. Um, wait, what? Is, I think you can direct ship, but they would have to pay for shipping. So never mind. You add it all to your retail. And then you close out your order and you have it all sent to your house. Once the boxes get to your house, you take out the things that are not yours. You sort them like, oh, this is Nancy's, this is Maria's, this is Sunjai's, this is Dreams. And um, what you will do is you will, you can just deliver it to them. But a lot of consultants, which I think is cute, they will um, put in these local orders and they will go get cute baggies, they'll get confetti, they'll get like tissue paper, and they'll present it in the cutest way to their customers. And they will make sure to add in like business cards and um, stickers and, and all things that are relating to their business and referring it out. And it kind of makes your customer feel like you're giving them a gift, you know? So it's very important that if you do do something like this, that you go out of your way and you just make your customer feel really good about ordering with you. I promise they'll keep coming back every time like it's addicting when you buy something and you feel great for buying it so I'm going to delete that party because that was just for video purposes I actually need to delete this one too because she wants to postpone it until she announces her housewarming um, but you know that's about it if you guys have any questions and you need some more help please get in my box let me know I will walk you through this again Thank you for watching.